G'day guys, today we're gonna be doing something that some of you may like, some of you may not like. If you don't wanna see a rabbit being eaten, you probably shouldn't watch this video, but today we're gonna be doing a rabbit catch and cook. All right boys, we got some rabbits right in here. Yeah, I mean, I am gonna have to catch the rabbits. They're not just, they're gonna not just gonna go right into my hands, all right? These guys are kinda tough. These guys are not easy to catch, okay? I mean, look at them, they're savage. I'm gonna go get my sweater on. It is cold out here, let me tell you. But actually, those rabbits back there, we're not gonna be eating those ones. We've actually got some more over here. I've got specific instructions on which rabbit I'm allowed to, you know, butcher and, and eat. Now, you know, the reason behind this, I've never really tried a domestic rabbit before. I have had snowshoe hair, which is like, you know, a wild type rabbit. They're not really a rabbit, they're a hare. Um, there's a pretty decent sized difference. But I wanna do it because I never tried it before and I thought it'd be interesting. And, you know, I've heard that, you know, wild rabbit tastes good, so I'm assuming domestic rabbit tastes good. Kinda hear it, I've heard it tastes like chicken and you know the recipe that we're gonna be doing is kind of gonna be like a chicken fry type recipe but we're gonna be eating one of these guys but I haven't actually showed you guys uh, much of the goats we'll take a quick look at them this is honey yep she's cute this is bud he's a savage anyway then we have teeny we have midnight we have June then we have Carl uh, this one I'm not really sure what it's called but it's a goat. And then there's a couple other ones over here. Where's Teeny? She's really cute. Oh yeah, this is Teeny right here. Teeny was bottle fed. She was one of the triplets. Uh, I showed in one of my videos before, but she uh, was really small. Quite a bit of the time, I think, uh, whenever you know they have triplets, there's a you know a, one of the smaller ones, a little runt type thing. But yeah, this is Teeny. Alright guys, so we have the rabbit. Um, I'm gonna dispatch it very humanely and quickly, so don't worry about that at all. Um, this rabbit's gonna be put to use. I'm gonna be harvesting its fur and its meat, and I'm probably gonna be feeding, you know, some of its like the heart and stuff to my cats. So this is all. This is gonna be a full usage. This is how you know rabbits come from the store. If you buy a rabbit at the store, or if you know you buy your chickens or cows at the store, everything has to go through this process to get to your plate. So. Anyway, I'm gonna do this off camera, and then I'll uh, show you guys, you know, the meat that I have afterwards. Dispatching an animal is a very serious thing, and I didn't, it wasn't fun, like, it's not like I'm going in here, you know, butchering, killing this rabbit, and, you know, butchering it for just fun or anything like that. Um, I'm gonna be, you know, I'm harvesting its meat, and uh, that's what they're made for. So, so don't think I'm heartless or something. Um, the method of dispatch I used was very humane. If you guys do wanna see, you know, the dispatch method, and you know the cleaning of the rabbit you know the, all that stuff i'm gonna put a link in the description down below and you guys can check out a uh, full video it's like 20 minutes and uh it's made by zach fowler and he does a very good job at you know explaining and showing all that stuff so if you guys do want to see the cleaning and all that stuff link is going to be in the description boom and after a short little bit we have uh the rabbit nothing different than what you'd see at the grocery store this is pretty much exactly what you would see at the grocery store you just get your full rabbit right there and my plan for this video is we're going to be eating the legs probably uh, frying those up as well as maybe some like tenderloin backstrap stuff and then with the rest of it i'm going to be using uh i'm gonna making some stew out of it so that's gonna be great and then we have the fur here too so i skinned them out as you can see i'm gonna freeze this and then i'm probably gonna be tanning this in the future as well so full use is on this we're using the meat the hide and the organs But just really quick before we go cook the rabbit, I wanted to give you guys a quick little farm tour, a quick little animal tour. Uh, since you guys don't really, I've never really given you a full tour of the uh, farm before, so. All right, so here we go. We obviously have the goats right here. Now these are the babies. My mom's actually in there milking right now, so that's why the babies are out here, because they're not allowed to be in their moms when their moms are milking. But yeah, we got we got the goats here. I kind of already showed you those. And then, dun, 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 dun. go through here. And now we're in here, look at these goats. But right here, we have a another little section right here. Right over here we have some chickens. They're in there. Hey, 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 out, 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 out. Okay, we'll shut this. The chickens in there are actually just chicks, so, so those ones aren't fully grown, they're still kind of babies, so we're keeping them in there. And then we'll let them outside to be with the rest of the chickens in a little while, once they get a little bit older. And then obviously that's the goat barn, that's where all the goats are. Good grief. In here we have our bucket and our cow, as you can see. I'll open this up for them so they can get some fresh air. Coming over this way, we have the chickens, and I'm gonna let them out here right now so you guys can see this firsthand, I guess. So here we go. We got uh, Derek right there. I think that's his name, I'm not sure. Uh, we got all the other chickens right here as well, just doing their thing. I'll show you guys this really quick because this is actually kind of cool. Right in there. 
<laughs> There's a chicken and she's uh, nesting right now. So just trying to get your eggs. Chill. Holy cow. Chill. 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 Stop packing. And just like that, we got an egg. Uh, it was. It was. Man. That chicken really did a number on my arm. You can't really tell, but that hurt. This one's actually pretty nice, gonna be honest. Here we got some eggs right there. This right here is what we got so far. And we got another egg right there. So. As you can see, the eggs are a bunch of different colors. We got some more green types right here, and then we got some more of the regular brown color right there. And that's just the type of uh, chickens we have. Some of them lay the more standard uh, browner color, and then some of them lay these weirder uh, blue and green type eggs. They're kind of cool, and uh, they taste really good. So free range, and so that means, you know, when we crack these, they're like super orange yolks. It's ridiculous. but. But anyway, but without further ado, we're gonna go back inside. We're gonna get cooking that rabbit. It's gonna be pretty tasty, let me tell you. I mean, hopefully, hopefully I don't die. All right, boys, there we go. We cooked the rabbit. So basically what I did was this morning I put it in some marinade. It was just some milk and some hot sauce and basically that just gives it a good flavor or whatever. And then what I did is I, you know, put some flour, kind of breaded it and it looks pretty nice as you can see. It looks really good right there. So I'm going to put that on a plate. Also in the montage, as you saw, what I did was I also uh, put the rest of the carcass like the it'll have like the back straps and the front legs on it i put that in the crock pot so we're gonna see how that tastes um here this evening i'm not that's not gonna be on the video but so i'm gonna take this leg here there's a leg right there looks pretty yummy there we go we got some ketchup right there round it off um hopefully i cooked it enough i think i did i think i did okay i didn't really get any meat there So I'm gonna try to get one more bite off here to see what I can do. It's pretty tough, like let me tell you, it is tough. All right, so yeah, that's uh, it's tough. All right, so that's gonna get fed to the cats and then the stew should be really good. It shouldn't be tough at all. If you wanna watch me eat a pigeon, click right up here. If you wanna subscribe to the channel, click right over here. And also guys, stay tuned to the channel for another catch and cook. It's gonna be kind of crazy. One word, lemon. All right, we'll see you guys in the next one.